I never forget how impressed I was when uh, King Hassan, you know, was talking to me about how proud he was that his country had protected the property rights of all the Moroccan Jews that made their way to Israel, thinking it was a land of opportunity. I came back to Morocco a few years ago to a friend's 60th birthday party uh, who had never lived here, and he came here because he's a Moroccan Jew, and his father and mother took him as an infant away, and he still has his family home because the word of the kingdom was good. That if you look at all of the world today, when people are fighting, killing each other, doing all this stuff, they are, they all have a different way of saying the same thing. And we extended the Abraham Awards to the Middle East and North Africa because we're very excited about the peace process that started between Israel and our neighbors. And we thought that we can do both to embrace companies that are doing good for society, but also to pour some substance to the agreements. Agreement is very important, but if people, businesses, will not interact and create relationship, these agreements will remain as the papers in, in some, on some table. So we believe that eventually you can create the peace through businesses and through innovation, and of course, we are very excited about our activity here. So the competition is for the early stage start startups, and we give a prize of half a million dollars to the first one that, that they have chosen, $100,000 to the second one, and $50,000 for the third one. But money is just the simple part. The more important part is Forbes, who are partners for this mission, they give promotion to this company through PR, through assistance. For example, they, they taught all the finalists how to present, how to build business plan, how to, to, to give your goals, etc., etc. And I'm committed for the finalists to give my mentorship unlimited. So I, I didn't limit it for one year or two years. I'm there to help whatever I can to those, to those startups. And um, all the combination is very lucrative. We hear it from startups that they create, they say it's, it's, a very, it's a very lucrative package and they're eager to be one of their finalists. We as Israelis always had a very warm feeling and tights with Morocco. We love Morocco. There's many Jews that arrive from Morocco to Israel. So Morocco is part of our culture for, for many, many years. But in this case, when we were looking for location for this competition, last year we did it in Dubai, and this year we, we traveled a couple of countries around to, to choose a location for this competition. And we were surprised how we were welcomed in Morocco, and we were surprised about the ecosystem of businesses and blooming startups, local startups that many of them define their mission to improve lives of people, which is the same philosophy of what we're trying to say, do good for, for humanity. It was obvious to us that this year we're going to do it in Morocco. I think one of the reasons that one of the finalists from last year was from Morocco, so she spread the word that it's real. We're not coming to take, we're coming to give. And once you release this tension saying, okay, what these guys want, they want really to give, so we got a very warm blessing and, and, and a welcome. And I think we did a very good decision that this year it's in Morocco. Well, there's three reasons why Marrakesh in particular is exciting for Forbes and for the Avram Foundation. One, the spirit of entrepreneurship in this country and particularly in this city, very inspiring. And it really is, I think, uh, a testament to the education, to the uh, energy that's being brought to this, uh, to this endeavor of entrepreneurship. Number two, Marrakesh and Morocco in general is the gateway to Africa. If you want to create entrepreneurship across the continent, 
particularly between the Middle East and Africa, Morocco, Marrakesh is the best place. And third, the people are the warmest, the most welcoming, and if you're going to invite an international audience to come and be part of the story of entrepreneurship in this region, you need to be with the Moroccan people, and that means you need to be in Marrakesh. Nous à Dipeco, on est très heureux d'être parmi les finalistes d'Averam Foundation sur plus de 800 startups qui ont postulé dans la région. C'est un vrai plaisir, c'est un vrai honneur aussi de représenter le Maroc sur cette compétition et de montrer qu'on est capable au Maroc de développer des belles startups, de aussi tisser des partenariats. On sort aussi de cet événement avec beaucoup de partenariats sur la région potentielle. Et j'espère que ce sera le début aussi pour plein d'autres startups marocaines, d'événements qui vont leur permettre aussi de porter l'étendard de notre pays et de développer notre tech et de continuer à travailler sur le développement de l'écosystème au Maroc.